Welcome at this short tutorial and I want to share this little tip with you and I've uh, come across problems when drawing arches in perspective. So I want to share this easy and simple tip to get the arches right when you are drawing them in perspective. When you want to draw a, a bow or an arch right in front, it's very simple. Just imagine a square and divide those in eight parts. And then you can see that it is uh, equally divided. But what if that square was in perspective? Like you are drawing a building around the corner. Then you apply the same thing, so you divide that square into eight parts. You can see the four points that your circle would be in. Now all you have to do is draw a fluid line for the circle. What you get now is a circle that is in perspective. The difference is now two parts to one part, like one third to two third, depending on the angle. I was drawing a beautiful door in, uh, in a church and I thought, whoa, let's share this with the people that come across that problem when drawing arches in perspective. Maybe you never get that right and you even get frustrated a little bit. Now here is a way to look at it. I've decided where the arch should be and I've made my square divided into eight parts. What I can do now is draw in the arch at the correct angle. Now, for instance, you are sitting on a terrace and you are drawing life, a building, and you have to deal with a kind of thickness of the walls. The disappearing points to the left you cannot see because they are outside of your drawing paper. Now you have to depend on your eyesight. So you literally look at what you're seeing, but because you already have your correct angle and your first lines, you can draw in all kinds of detail, just by carefully watching what you are seeing. Maybe you want to draw in uh, a post around uh, the door opening, and the inside and the thickness of the wall and the door that is laying deeper inside. Just keep a close notice on the disappearing lines that are going to the point to the right. Keep following these lines. Even if you want to draw some kind of pavement in front of that door, just keep notice of your right disappearing point. For all the ornaments inside that you want to draw in, you simply rely on your eye. Just watch what you are seeing and draw in all the details that you want. So the disappearing points to the left are on site and a bit by imagination if you want and all the lines to the right you can depend on the disappearing points on your horizon. Make sure that the vertical lines are really really vertical. But 
once you have those first lines standing, you can draw all you want and you will get a fairly nice drawing. And you will not get frustrated anymore or have to throw out your drawing because all the arches are crooked or really frustrating you. Now the nice thing about this is that you can apply it also on for instance a gothic arch. Now you do not have to deal with a circle but I still think in a square. I divide that square into eight parts and even throw in two extra helplines. Now my gothic arch is easily set in. Now I want to draw around the corner. So I am dealing with perspective now. I still divide that square that is in perspective into eight and I simply draw in my gothic arch. Or maybe I'm dealing with some eastern orientic beautiful arch. Also this I can easily draw in by putting in little helper lines and make a fluid line around that helper line. This way I'm always at the correct angle and I will not get frustrated anymore. So this is the tip I wanted to share and I hope you like it. I've made uh, some other videos about perspective that are well a bit longer and more detailed so please check them out if you like and I hope to see you again in one of my other movies. Take care, see you next time.